Hey. Hey. How you doing? Uh, long time no see. I know. I'm so excited to see mm. you. <laughs> Healthy and staying at home, right? Yeah. It's been what, like two, three years since we last talked, right? I know. It's been a long time. But hey, I love technology. Why not? <laughs> you were my Renee Zellweger last time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So how's everything? Good? Yeah, we're good. We're uh, on lockdown. Uh, I yeah. don't know if you are. Are you as well? Yeah, I am too. So hopefully everything will, you know, end soon. Where are you now? I am actually stuck at the middle of the job in Colorado. Yeah, yeah. I I was working with the casting and all these things happened. So <laughs> I <laughs> stuck in Colorado. <laughs> but, but you don't live there, do you? I don't know. I actually live in L.A. Oh, Yeah. And how, how are things in LA and there in Colorado? Um, in Colorado, actually, the mayor said they're going to open all the businesses um, mm -hmm. in a very strict order um, on May 8th. So, uh, but in California, still, they're working on it. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Let's see how that works. I know. How about you? Uh, they're they're starting to lift the the lockdown. Uh, I think it's on May fifth or May eighth. They're gonna Good. lift some restrictions. Yeah. And of course. It's gonna... <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's I'm gonna... glad you you and your family, you guys are safe. You know. Yeah. So far we are, but uh, it, it's been hard here because um, some people just don't listen to the to the. Of record. course, he here is the same way. <laughs> Especially older people. <laughs> they don't care. They're like, whatever. Yeah, we've been through the plague and all, all those sicknesses. Yeah, see? They're, they're like, whatever. We'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. No mask for us. No. no. <laughs> It's like a, a firm. Funny. Yes. Mm. Yes. Just um, on the last interview, I was talking to, to, to the guest and I was telling, him, uh, telling her that um, uh, I went out for the first time in a month to go to a, an ATM machine and oh it, boy. It, it, yeah, a horror movie. Um, just so uh, the people in front of each other and coughing and uh, no masks, nothing. Um, <laughs> so where are you at? I, I'm in Portugal. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm at my house right now. So. Um, oh, lovely. You see, I never been there and that's, that's in, in my list that, you know, go visit because I've been I, I travel a lot I've been to so many countries but as soon as I find new country I'm like okay I gotta go oh. you know <laughs> I'd love to see you of course yeah anytime as soon as this thing's over that I'll be able to travel I'll let you know all and it'll be fun yeah. to learn new culture hopefully it won't be too long but uh I, I don't know I think this is gonna last for a while Oh, uh, hopefully we go away. We can do it. We yeah. all can do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if we, if only we could force the older people, everything would be fine. But there's still some some young people there. There are still uh, on the beaches and all uh, and defying the the quarantine. But, hey, I can't say no to the beaches. You know, come on, like it's summer. It's beautiful. You're like. You know what? If I if I want to die, it's better I die at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the, um, uh, the, I think it was a lawyer or a doctor that, that went to the beach dressed as death? <laughs> yes, yes. I love it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that'd be hilarious. That's <laughs> really comedy. <laughs> Imagine going to the beach and seeing that guy. <laughs> I'm down. I will come. I will, I'm down. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's funny. Get there just to see how people reacted to that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but, but, but have you got Cabin Fever yet? Yes. Oh my gosh, that's a good movie. Yes. Mm. Yes, I love that movie. I think I watched it so many times. The story is fun. The acting is amazing. It's like, what just happened? <laughs> but, but are you feeling it now? 
I do. Mm. It's like that. It's exactly like a movie. Yeah, it's like my, my, I have a <laughs> my upstairs neighbor. Uh, she she cries a lot. She cries desperately. Aww. Then she starts laughing. She's oh, laughing <laughs> but that's good. That's good. <laughs> At the end, <laughs> you could feel like like she is getting killed upstairs. But uh, afterwards, she just laughs hysterically. They can put it off. It's like, are you okay? Wow. <laughs> you need a shoulder to cry. We wanted to call the police. Then she, she starts laughing. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, That's uh, funny. <laughs> let's start this. Um, I wanted to ask you, uh, where were you born? I was born in Tehran, Iran, in mm -hmm. Middle East, actually. Yeah, both my parents are Iranian. Mm -hmm. My mom is half Russian, and um, yeah, and uh, but I'd grown up in Africa. So when I was about 10 days old, they moved to Tanzania. So Tanzania is center east of Africa's neighbor with Kenya. It's gorgeous. It's right at the beach, you know, right at the Indian Ocean with the palm trees, you know. Um, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. So I'd grown up there, and I moved to Europe. Mm -hmm. that's the place that I joined acting, which it was Shakespeare. When, when did you go to, to Europe? How old were you? Uh, I was 13. I was 13 years old. I went to Sweden and it was very cold <laughs> so, from uh, Africa. You were in Africa? Uh, yeah, till, till age 13, I was in Africa, yeah. But uh, I travel a lot again, going to different countries as well. Um, I love traveling. I love meeting new people and new culture. Um, yeah. Uh, with my parents, yes. But when I went to Sweden, I was living actually by myself uh, because that's a different country. So uh, it was possible that as age 13 that I lived by myself. Mm -hmm. And I joined theater. Theater always been my passion. Um, I, I started in Royal Shakespeare Company actually in Sweden. So um, I was going to school at the theater and then performing. So that was my whole life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. So, so you have a mixture of cultures. Yeah. And you have traveled more probably in a, in a month than I, than I have been my whole life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right now, I just travel from this room to another room, so. <laughs> well, the, the, the highlight of my travels was going to Spain to, to buy some caramels. Oh, great. <laughs> great. Right. But... I've been to Spain. It's a very gorgeous country. Yeah, it is. Um, because when I was in Sweden, when it was very cold, we were either was going to Spain or going to Italy because, mm. <laughs> you know, it wasn't that freezing, you know. Um, but gorgeous people, culture, good food, you know, like it's, it's amazing. You know, you would love it no matter what. Yeah. I've been to, to Spain, uh, I think a few times, uh, at least three. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I went to Madrid. Mm -hmm. Bada, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I went to Marbella, but I had nice. a great vacation there. Oh, nice. The longest, the longest I've been in Spain. Uh, and I went to Saragossa. Nice. Near Morocco, Morocco. Yeah, near Morocco, yeah. Yeah, it was a, like a one or two day trip. And I bought some the, some leather boots there. <laughs> yes. Actually, the best leather boots I ever bought. They have the best leather boots, yes. Yeah. Yes. And they have prices too. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I love it. So we're <laughs> giving a free day. For, for leather boots in Spain there. <laughs> uh, uh, but um, tell me, what were your earliest memories while, while you were a child? Uh, the best memories? Or, uh, or what, what so, do you remember the, the first when you? I love Africa. The reason is like people are really kind. They're very generous. They're very happy, you know, <laughs> and um, some they may not have money, but they're very happy. And that's the place I can tell that money is not happiness, you know, 
and uh, yeah it's and good weather you know beach and you know fun and um, yeah I would go with that Excellent. but I love everywhere 98% of my family is is from Africa oh nice yeah Oh, nice. That is no great. I I still have great friends there. Um, in South Africa, I have great friends and um, family and friends. It's, uh, it's a land of magic, kind of, you know, like, um, I love to go places that people don't judge each other, don't, you know, like, respect each other the way they are, you know, like, that's, I think, very important. Um, yeah, it's it's cool. It's really cool. Yeah, that's a great message from nowadays. For yeah, it's uh, I'm the, I'm always tell people like you know go see the world, go see people. I mean, even if you don't know their language, just learn. You know, Google it. Right now you have internet. In my time when I was traveling, I didn't have any internet. You know, we we're just like traveling, having a book. You know, find a word to say hi or. But right now it's uh it's a different. The technology going to help you that you communicate with people. Um. Right. I might not know a culture, I might not know the language, but I, I, I would jump in and try to learn, you know, food, you know. Um, especially in this tough time right now, I think uh, people should come together more. They yeah. should, like, help each other more. Especially in our community. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Which I think, I think in, in a way, we're, we're actually the, the people that are coming together the most mm -hmm. to, to, to help people. And, uh... Yeah, yeah, that's like so neat, you know, because we're all in this together. So uh, nobody's better than someone else, you know. It's actually been touching to see how, how our community has come together to, to, to face this head on, even though we're, we're probably the ones that are going to suffer the most for it. Yes, yeah. Exactly. But hey, we can do it. Trust me, we can do it. We can come out of it. <laughs> I miss your positivity. <laughs> and, you know, you gotta have it. You know, I mean, the luck, the luck in the life, you know, it's, uh, um, we don't know what will happen tomorrow. Yeah, so I... it, it, it's better you do what you can do right now, than just open your eyes and everything is gone. <laughs> so, so tell me a, a little bit about your parents. My parents, um, my parents, they both are ambassadors. They're diplomats. Um, I'm the only child. Um, they are um, very kind, very fun parents, very shy. So none of them are actors. <laughs> none of them, they are like me, like loud and, um, you know, um, they're outgoing. They well, love the, cultures. The have to to receive people and that they're yes yes that's the only time oh. but like if they all want to give a speech they try their best but like they are the people you don't know that they're in a room i'm no. like jumping everywhere you know? <laughs> um my grandmother was like that she was very you know fun fun lady were you close but to I was, yeah, I was, um, she was a ballerina, actually. This is a long, long time ago we were talking about, yeah. Um, unfortunately, she passed away in December 2019. And um, even she always was telling me, you know what, go see the world, go see people, go uh, explore. If not, your life is wasted. So I always listen to her that I got to go, I got to meet people, I got to, you know, learn language, learn culture, you know, um, listen to their pains and everything. I think that's, that's the big goal for me. I love it, you know. It's interesting that um, ballet dancers or ballerinas have, mm -hmm. have that, that kind of broad uh, um, vision of the world and uh, they're always... Exactly. Yeah, she was she traveled a lot. She was in Moscow. She was dancing. She was in Spain. This is like 1941 we're talking about. And then she was in whole Europe, you know, she was meeting people and she was like, this is amazing that how art brings people together in a different shape. You know, it can be a dance, it can be acting. So being on a stage, I learned it from her, how amazing it is basically or different audience you know like i always like 
uh, appreciate my audience. Like, hey, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for supporting us. Um, and it's it's great. That's my parents are fun. <laughs> It's great to have that that kind of mindset in terms of the the, the audience and the the people that come to see us. Yes. If they're a, a fan of yours, uh, you you wanted to stay that way. You wanted to endure him. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Because as an actor, um, it doesn't matter. You do film right. or theater. You saying a story that might happen to someone out there. So it's my responsibility to ask my audience like how do you feel um the last time i play a show um it was about um rape and abusing in europe mm -hmm. and that was based on a real story um we had two young girls came to us and they were very excited they're like we're very happy you guys did this show because we are the rape victim and you guys show it in a correct way And it was amazing for me because every job I do, I want to give different message outside. Right. You know, I want like to um, be the voice of those don't have any voice, basically. Um, and it's all over the world. There's not just one place all over the world. Uh, that is, that's actually, um, um, I love acting, you know, to tell the stories, you know, it's a, uh, Um, you know better. I mean, you do acting a lot in theater. So, um, yeah, that's... This that's is why I love this kind of uh, conversations and interviews because, um, and that's one of the things that I miss the most about you, was uh, <laughs> your passion when you talk about acting. Yeah, it's it's right. it's, a, it's a fire. In, it's kind of like a fire that you cannot, like, turn it down. It's like... If I if I go away, I feel like oh my gosh, this fire is burning. I gotta go back. You know, um, we all have that. Some there are arts, some there are doctors, some there are nurse, or you know, you and I are actors. You know, um, that is um, that is the thing that I'm glad I was blessed enough to found this when I was nine. I'm like oh my gosh, I I want to go on stage. I want to do that. I want to do that. You know. Um, and I was blessed enough to be able to do it, you know, pursue it, you know, great family to support me like, hey, okay, you want to do it? Okay, go ahead and do it. You know, not everybody have a positive uh, thinking about acting, you know, <laughs> such <Well>, a parent. <laughs> yeah. That'll be my, my next question. Was, was your household open to the arts? Were they? D yes, they do a lot. It was very, it was at the beginning, it was kind of hard because Everybody know that when you want to start anything in art, it's not easy. You're not going to make money. You're, you know, you, they're worried. Where are you going to stay? What are you going to do? But my father, my mom, my grandma, they all like, is this makes you happy? I'm like, yeah, then do it. I always tell people like life is too short and don't copycat and don't copy paste things. If you really want to do something, just go do it. It can be anything, you know, not just acting, like anything. Um, if that makes you happy, just go do it, uh, which is hard because you're getting older and you listen to all these people and you're like, should I do it? Should I not do it? I'm going to say, go do it. Go get it. Go get it for sure. So, and, and do you remember watching something that might, might have triggered the, that passion, watching TV or going to play? Uh, something that you try to mimic? Uh, mostly going to play a lot. A l going to going to play a lot because um, for my grandma, we were going to different theaters in different countries. Mm -hmm. And um, TV and film was so much fun. I think uh, back in my time, it was helping me that I learned learn everything from TV, learn everything from film, because you get to the point sometimes that life is very hard. The only thing that you see is that positive message in a film or positive message on a stage in a theater. It's like a dreamland. It's like a kid in a dreamland. You're like, oh, that is so great. You know, um, I really love that feeling. Like every time I was like, and it's forever. sad, it's forever. forever. Yeah. And we all have it. Like, 
you're like, okay, you know what? I really want to watch this film because it's giving me that passion. Like that actor helps me to feel better, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I had it a lot. I had it a lot. And um, that up and down of my life, film and theater helps, both helps me. But I always had passion for theater. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because of your grandmother. Because of my grandmother. And I don't know, a theater, I don't know, I feel different. Like, uh, you have audience right there. So you can read their face. You can, mm-hmm. you know. Right. Um, yeah, I would go with theater. Um, but film is great. Yeah. Film is great, too. Um, did you try to do something at school that uh, art related? Maybe do some plays or to do some projects on your own? Or did they have like uh, drama clubs or... Uh... Or so maybe. I I started to study when I was in Sweden. Uh, I went to a high school. I studied at the Royal Shakespeare Company. I actually st- started to study there, study theater, everything about theater, from the backstage to the front, from acting, costume designing, makeup, everything about theater, basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, stage design, all of it. And this was my life. And uh, we were studying and in the afternoon we were doing audition and then we get the part and we rehearse. And because of that theater, I was blessed enough to travel to different countries. Because for example, if you wanted to play Othello by Shakespeare, we, we had a tour go to Australia. We had a tour go to Spain or France, you know, um, different places. And that was amazing experience for me. Yeah. Did you get to um, to major in, in anything art related or? Yes, makeup, costume, and stage managing. Mm-hmm. Were, were, they, were those the, the classes on your on your high school or? Uh, yes, yeah. on my high school. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it right now. But I'm doing it for movies. That that the, uh, those classes where you majored were they in Sweden too? They were in Sweden. Yes. Okay. That's good that they have that the, that kind of classes where people can go and uh, in my country the, it's usually seen as a hobby. Yeah. Yeah, more more like a drama club kind of thing, or uh, which I hated. I hated those kind of drama clubs because uh, you just sit there and then they tell you to act like a flower. <laughs> and, uh, well, and you see, the, many countries are like that. The kind of like a medieval plays or. or something. <laughs> Uh, that wasn't for me. Oh no, <laughs> that, that was the first and only time that I went there. I left. Yeah, and, yeah. No, because I usually love to do contemporary stuff and um, yeah, and usually do, do my own stuff. I like to write and, and create either comedy shows or uh, other kinds of plays or anything like that. Oh, so that's great. To, to be there and just sit there and be a flower. No, not for me. But there are people that, that, that like it. But I, I think mostly for the, um, the friendships and the, um, the things that they, they create there, uh, the relationships. The, it's kind of uh, also a way to, if you're shy, mm-hmm. you can come out of your shell as well. Yes. Which reacting is, is great for that as well. Um, but um, in my country, when you announce that you want to be an actor, at least when I started, it was seen like going, uh, announcing like you're going to be a prostitute or something like that. Because <laughs> I know in some cultures like that, it's true. It's so yeah. true. It, it, it was so. It, it was the last thing. I, I, there's a a meme that I love where uh, I think it's a girl that that says that uh, I'm going to be a doctor. And everybody's throwing her a party, and then there comes a, a boy that says, "I want to be an actor." And actor, a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. But it, but it, but life was like that. So true. Uh, I remember <laughs> the things that you remember. Um, I remember once someone that that would be the worst when when you're introduced to to people you don't know and they ask yes. you. So what what do you want to be? And uh, actor. And, yeah, I'm an actor, and and people start looking at you, mm. like mm-hmm, they're gonna judge you. They're judging you right there. <laughs> Why don't you t- to do a degree or take a degree? You know? Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Yes. 
Oh, wow. It's everywhere. I mean, everywhere is like that. Even in the US is the same, you know, they're like, oh, what do you do? Like, I'm pursuing acting. They're like, mm, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's... Parasite. Even... <laughs> <laughs> they're jealous. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh, that that's funny. There's some people down here like messaging. I I not paying attention. They say hi, hi Muhammad. Um, hey, that's funny. Yeah. Um, but, but it's great. It's uh, it's fun. That, that's um, the the first roadblock that 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 we have to go through is the people's opinions regarding the acting and uh, and everything related to to to, to acting because. Um, Unless, unless you can go and go have success straight away and yeah. be famous and rich, they're not forgiving. They're, you know. Yeah, even I think, you it's, know, it's, uh, to me in my life, no matter what you do, people would judge you. So do whatever you want to do. You know, and those who, those who are your friends, they will, you know, support you. And those who not, they're just, you know, okay, goodbye, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, as yeah. I get, I, I have less and less patience for people that, um, especially friends uh, or, or friends. Your friends. <laughs> that, um, that don't support you or are more eager to support someone else just because it's, um, it's cool to do so. But, um You know, just do your own thing, and uh, it's hard. It's hard, especially when you're all alone in this, and um, it's such a hard way of life. You know, we, we've seen so so many brothers and sisters in acting that um, that suffered a lot. Exactly, exactly. It's a tough profession, and uh, that's why I usually support everyone that I, or the most people that I that I can possibly can with, uh, for sure their dreams because um, I know how hard it is it is you know you have to use to it. you have to use to negative people it's mm -hmm. like kind of you like a, mm -hmm, yeah it's out there okay thank you so much bye <laughs> right it is it is what it is you know um, especially in acting um, even I have the same thing like when I was in Europe uh, I acted a lot, constantly I was on a stage, you know, doing for so many years, you know, I was on a stage, not everybody were pleasant, not everybody were coming in a show like the show, but I cannot please everyone, you know, right. that's my job to give you the story, if you like it, you know, you like it, um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's good, just to stick with the people that they are your true friend and then you'll be fine. <laughs> Yeah, your tribe. Oh, uh, when, when did you decide to become an actress? Uh, what was the defining moment? Um, I was nine years old and I went to see West Side Story. Are you familiar with that? Yeah, yeah. All right. So I went to see West Side Story. And of course, West Side Story is a musical. It is theater, but it's musical. Even the film, it's a musical, you know. Um, I just fell in love and I remember I stand up and I tried to like sing with it and dance with it, you know, um, I, I'm like, I want to do that. I want to do that. Can I go there? Can I do that? What is that? And then my grandma's like, that's called acting, honey, you know, and she's like, do you want to be a dancer? I'm like, I don't know. I just want to go there. I want to do that. Um, then I, I just start you know, from theater, because um, that was a big thing in my grandma's life. So my grandma's like, okay, you know, I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, but like I said, these days are easy than past. You know, you just like Google a class or something. My time, it wasn't, it was just one company, which is a Shakespeare company. And that's it. So your grandmother taught you? My grandma? Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. My grandma, my grandma was like, this is musical. Do you want to be a musician? And I'm like, no, not musician. I just want to be, you know, like, be there. I want to do that. It's uh, the, the most beautiful thing about acting. I love the freedom. Mm -hmm. You have no boundaries. You have no walls. You literally can create and be anything at any time in anywhere you think. You want to go to the moon, you can go to the moon. 
you know, you want to you wanna go, you know, underwater and explore the life underwater, you can be. That's like, that's really awesome about acting. And there is nothing is good and bad. Everything exists. You know, it's like a world that everything is possible. So I loved it. I really, really enjoy it. Um, and there's no judge kind of. There's no judging world. It's it's tough. But yeah. Were, when you were nine, were, were you in Sweden? I was, I was in Africa, but oh. uh, we were going to Europe a lot uh, to, you know, like for traveling you know see other families in europe and whenever we're there we definitely go to the theater we definitely so, go to a show in africa what were the the opportunities opportunities like for uh for uh, an actor yeah. um unfortunately in my time it wasn't that much no i i was going to international school but we had like you know school play that kind of stuff but it wasn't that big unfortunately Um, there was one art school, uh, it was in South Africa, but that's about it. Um, sadly, it wasn't that big. It wasn't that huge. Uh, but, uh, the beauty about Africa, they have a great musicians, yeah. you know, lots of great musicians. They come out of there and they're all local and they, you know, start with nothing, you know, um, Uh, yeah, in Africa, unfortunately, no. That's why I had to like move to Europe, for sure, uh, to be able to pursue the acting. So, where w was it rooted your love for it? Was it something that you felt that you needed to do, uh, that you couldn't live without? Some say that it's a way to exercise your demons. It's like um, it's like falling in love. <laughs> Wow. It's like it's like something that I feel, oh my gosh, that is me and that's how I feel complete. It's like uh okay, I feel there's something missing in me and then when I when I do acting, I'm like, oh okay, that's me. It's like you I feel safe, calm, happy, um and excited that excitement is coming out it's like you have a crush on someone and you see it and you're like oh my god i can't handle it and acting for me it's like that auditioning or going on a stage or even the camera it's like i want this so bad you know to the point that sometimes i'm so excited i even forget that what i'm saying i'm like oh my gosh you know i have to say the lines you know um It is great. I, I'm happy and I'm very blessed to have that feeling because not every, not everybody know what they want. And mm -hmm. from that young age, I knew what I want, but I knew it wouldn't be, you know. So when, when the, you, you told your parents that you were officially going to be an actress, how did they react? Uh, I think my grandma started to laugh very <laughs> loud. She started to have very loud. And she, uh, she loved the uh, cigar. She loved cigar and a whiskey. So she immediately turned on the, you know, Colombian cigar and the whiskey. And then she's like, oh boy, good luck. <laughs> and then she starts to laugh. And uh, my mom and my, my dad, they're like, well, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, I, I am. I want to, I want to do that. I want to absolutely do that. Um, Uh, and they're like, okay, well, if that makes you happy, you go do it. Oh, cool. There's some friends are coming. Hi, Radna. <laughs> she's an actress too. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, she's lovely. Um, it's fun to see the friends are coming here. Um, yeah, it's, uh, but I knew it wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. I knew it would not be easy. Um, were they fearful? So. They were. They were very fearful. They were really worried because the main thing that they were worried, and I was worried uh, because um, kind of being Iranian, you know, that was really fear in the mm. world, unfortunately, because uh, because of pol game of politics, because of news, because of that, you know. Um, but the good thing right now, like it's it's a different game, you know. Um, if you're really passionate about something, you you will get it. You will go get it. Basically, don't think about the negative or politics and anything, you know. Um, 
but that was my biggest fear. Right. Yeah, but um no, the love of acting was more than my fear. <laughs> I think your grandmother probably already su suspected that you were going to fall. Oh that. yeah, oh yeah, and she always like, "Well, you're a character. You're not shy. You can do it, you know. But be prepared yourself cuz not everybody going to like you." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> That's the hardest part, right? That's the hardest part. She's like, "You can't please everyone." So, um and, and be passionate about it. One of the toughest lessons for us to to learn is that um not everybody's going to appreciate you. No. No. And no matter what you do. I mean, in real life, no matter what you do, not everybody going to appreciate you. So that's why this the the circle of friendship for actors are very small. Mm -hmm. It's not big. Um but I do I do support all the actors, you know, no matter what because it's a tough job, you know. It is, it is. So, um after school, what what path did you did you choose after After you took so it. when I did theater, um, I actually went to Malaysia. I wanted to pursue um, go, music. Go. I know. I'm like going, I told you I'm going everywhere. I went to Malaysia when I was 19, and I went to university there to finish music. Right. So I study classic music and contemporary music both. Um, because music is amazing. I mean, I can't say no to it. And then when I was done with the uh, music, I decided to come to United States. But I decided to come to United States to learn about Hollywood. Because mm. who doesn't? I I still have a passion for theater, but I'm like, okay, as an actor, I want to learn more. So, um, if you're familiar with the exchange student program, so I you know, transfer my credit and everything to a university in California. Um, and from, from Malaysia, yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I've been blessed to know very good people. I've been blessed to work with amazing people. Um, and I'm still learning. <laughs> It, it's a, a never-ending never uh, learning never ending. for us, yeah. But what, was there ever a plan B or C? No, there is no plan B or C, but, but I promised myself that I definitely join UN and UNICEF, if you're familiar with those. Mm -hmm. um, um, basically, to help the children and to help the people around the world. So it's kind of like a mission, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Because uh, my parents, they used to um, be part of it as well, too. So that's, like, really important for me that as an actor, um, Give back. While, while I have voice, help those who need um, uh, in any country. So that's, like, a, that, that would be the plan B, definitely. But doing something else, uh, if I don't do acting, I'm doing something involved of acting for example a casting director a costume designing makeup you know that's why i'm doing it right now i'm mostly working behind the camera because it's really great that you know how does things work right. you know like this is a movie okay how do they make the movie what are they doing you know this is behind the camera what's going on and that's i think really great um But I've been blessed enough to work with one of the great casting network in, in L.A. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing. That's what I do when I'm not acting. That's one of your best traits is your curiosity. And um, you're so creative that, uh, that I'm not surprised that you want to learn more about Thank other you. areas. I and I, I wouldn't be surprised if I, if I seen you direct one day. I don't, you know, I love to learn. I love to learn. I mean, why not? You know, yeah. it doesn't hurt. Uh, it's amazing. But while I'm doing casting, um, being a casting director, that's amazing too because um, you meet all these beautiful actors out there and my job is basically to help you um, to walk in front of camera. You know, I think that is, that feeling is really good. You know, that sometimes like so many actors, they come for audition and then, 
they would go away. And after two, three months, I see them in the TV in that commercial. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I know him. I know her, you know. Um, that's a good thing. But yeah, directing, I'll put it on my list. I'll put it on. <laughs> You yeah. should you should come to US. Maybe we should direct like a very international movie. Yeah, you know? we yeah we should work together for sure. <laughs> that would be amazing. But I'm I'm also learning a few a few notions about directing as well, and um, mm -hmm. it's something that I'd love to try in in the future. But I still yeah. see it as something um, maybe a little bit hard. But because of um, the creative nature nature of myself and uh, yeah and being being a creator in terms of writing and other stuff will be the the natural progression for, for for myself and i've seen so many other people uh like like me who started in writing and acting and comedy and they always try at least once to to, to direct even if they fail but, for sure uh, yeah but it'll be something that they'll be interesting but i'm still learning And I think, Me too. <laughs> and I, one of the interesting things that I've learned, at least from from a few people, is that most directors don't know what they're doing, and they depend on the on the DP or on on a, another person to to help yeah. guide oh, and, yeah. and do the the technical stuff. And they... it's a teamwork, you know. I yeah. mean, actors cannot do without director. Director cannot do without casting. You know, like it's the good thing about this job. I always love it. It's a the huge team teamwork. Team yeah, yeah. It's it, the the job is depends on team, and mm -hmm. uh, that makes it great. So, um, when you started uh, in the business, were you because usually actors have either um, great stories uh, where they find some good mentors or they usually have horror stories. <laughs> yes. Right. So um, which ones do you have? Were you well received by the, the so-called pros of the business? or? Uh, I you... have all of it. I have all the stories. Yeah. So, I mean... Tell me which you want. I'll tell you. I'm an open book. <laughs> wow. Well. I'll leave it to, up to you. So, um, because um, you tell something that's funny as well. Yes, but <laughs> so um, that's the so the thing is like at the beginning when I came to US. Well, of course I went to school. I was studying theater arts and everything. Uh, but uh, you don't know how the game of acting works in LA, in in mm -hmm. in Hollywood, in United States, because Europe is different system than United States. And I had no idea. I didn't know that what is agents. I didn't know all of this, you know, was management, nothing or everything. I I remember uh, me and my friend, we were on a Facebook and uh, we were like, okay, we're shooting a film. This, this is a location. Come over here. We'll pay you, blah, blah. We went, which I do not tell actors. If you see an ad and you have no idea where is it, don't do it. Don't mm -hmm. do it because it's a giant scam. So we went there and everything. Um, it was a it was a college. It was on a weekend, and uh, they're like, "Okay, yeah, come over here, and we will we'll do your makeup, blah blah." And then after like two three hours, we saw like cops are everywhere, and we came out. And the cops is like, "You guys are under arrest." I'm like, "Why?" They're like, "You broke into a university," and I'm like, "I didn't do anything." They asked us to come in here. So literally the cops was like, yeah, they, the university gave us a call. This building is, you know, like closed and you guys in it. I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I was so terrified. I started to like cry. I was so worried. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to end up in jail. <laughs> I don't want to go in jail. <laughs> it was me and my other friend. We both are freaking out. My friend is like, I'm young. I don't want to go to jail. I have to go to college. All this story is like, It was terrifying. Your parents are diplomats. I know. <laughs> I was like my other friend. Um, she was That's from the, Russia. And yeah. <laughs> she was from Russia, and she started like talking Russian. She was talking Russian because she was so scared, and she didn't say it. She couldn't say it in English. <laughs> it was hilarious. It was a mess. Like these cops came. They were canine. They were literally pointing guns at us, and we were like. Hi, we thought it's part of a movie. We literally thought it's a part of a movie. 
And I'm like, oh shit, they are real cops. They're not actors. <laughs> and um, they explained it to it was. I was like, oh my god, that was like a most terrifying story for me, but funny from another way because it's a. It, I never see cops like literally in my face in my life, you know, and I'm like, wow. Um, that was funny. That was funny. Yeah. Um, another story that which it was great. Um, I came to do a commercial uh, about like three years ago, and uh, I was in a very bad situation. I actually was going through my uh, divorce with my ex-husband so I was like mentally I was like really bad situation but I was going I want to do this commercial and I met another actress she uh, she said hey there is this guy um, he's having acting class and he's really great his name is this do you want to go and I'm like you know what yeah why not I give it a try um, and that class saved my life that class um the casting director and a teacher basically um he saved my life he till now when i'm working with him and till now when every time i want to go for audition i call him i'm like you know what um give me some tips what should i do um i think it's it, it was an opportunity that happened to me and while i was not in a great moment of my life but I took that opportunity. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to go. And um, that was great. Like uh, his name is Stuart Stone Casting. He's in my Instagram too. Uh, yeah. I work with him. I study with him. Um, he's become a best mentor ever, which like all my life, I working with the great mentors, even in the theater and everything. But um he was honest. He was not working for money. He didn't want you to come to the class for money. He wanted you to make it. Those are the best. Yeah, and he had a passion about it. And he was getting pissed off. Like, I love that the way that he was always, like, passionate about it in the class. It's like, hey, you got to do this, this, this. And he was getting angry, but now he was not mad about me. He, was wanting, he wanted me to understand, hey, you got to be like this. You can't. And he never gives up. He never gives up on me or like anybody in a class. Otherwise, if you leave, if you open the door and leave, he's not going to ask you to come back. Mm. And I think he's been a great mentor. I always like thankful. And he opened my eyes. He helped me to learn behind the camera. He helped me to learn how the casting works, how the acting works. And he always mentioned it is not easy, you know. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the two stories I always tell, especially the creepy ones. So if you see an ad, please don't go. If you don't know where you're going, don't go. <laughs> and I'm in the in jail. I have to call bail you guys out. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> oh, one thing that I, that I was thinking about today was, um, these stories are, are when when they happen, they're kind of like um, they're tragic or, or or like horror stories. But um, in the end, after so many years, if we see things clearly, we're we're like a combination of um, of uh, memories and um, and experiences, and uh, it's it's all we have. And um, it's it's so great to have those kinds of stories. They're they're kind of um, a bag that you carry with you. Yes. And you can yes. always take take that and then uh, share it with other people, especially other people that are starting now. But um, true. yeah, it, I would have preferred to have those stories than to just make it right yes. away. Yeah. Yes, it's or always good to have experience than nothing. Way and have success and have money or whatever or yes. a position of uh, of being able to do the the kind of projects that I love to do. But uh, mm -hmm. but uh, it's so so great to have those kinds of stories that um, amused the hell out of me today. Like, <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, um, those stories I have a lot, you know, good and bad, I have it. But I'm like, you know what? It was, it was experience. Just, you know, do the risk. Do the risk. Exactly. But um, I was going to ask you, um, I think the last time you, you, you talked to me a little bit about... Um, the political side of um, being from Iran and uh, yeah. experiencing maybe some negative stuff. Mm -hmm. And I remember a few years ago, you were telling me that, um, that some people were being mean to you. And, uh, and nowadays, how do you see, did things get better or? Um, unfortunately, things will never get better. You know, mm -hmm. we, we human beings love to judge, you know, mm -hmm. and we love drama, you know, and, um, uh, racism unfortunately is happening around the world um which is always sad for me because i mean we all are all are human being no matter what you know you might mm. like have different culture might have different accent or different language um it is sadly still happening uh but i learned to ignore it and i learned to um think about those who invest in me think about my family that how much they wanted me to be successful no matter what because ignorance and racism they're always been here and they're still here unfortunately i don't want it you know mm -hmm. um but in acting um not in u.s and it depends like some uh, some people they just want to like bring drama some people they just want to judge you you know but me i love it i always go i'm like you know what i don't care even though if you don't like me just say it you know i really really don't care but, and another but thing, yeah. more on on the acting side or outside of acting no both, both? yeah I'm both, yeah yeah, I'm yeah I'm both. But, but by colleagues or or by the The people in power that um, um I can go with both. Sadly, mm -hmm. I can go with both. But um, like I always say, um, I always like create that safe environment with those that they're truly my friends. They truly support me at work or in a real life. Um, it is it is hard. But another thing makes my heart warm is like I know there are lots of um not specific actors but there are lots of iranian people that they have dreams they have hopes and um i decide to be their voice that as an iranian woman as an iranian actress um it is possible it is possible to make impossible a way break it down you know um And it's not just Iran, there are other countries as well too, sadly. Um, but I decide to be their voice because um, they, they are in a tough situation. They have hopes and dreams, but they can't make it happen. So if I be somebody that I can make it happen, that's like thumbs up. That's like a hope right there. Um, it will not be easy, but you know, I, I'm, I'm trying it. You know that, I'm trying it always. <laughs> and you're such a great representative not just oh, of your thank you but, uh, yeah for everybody you're, you're so for such, everybody a, a huge flag of, of positivity and uh of goodwill and uh, that's what we it, need right now it, that's yeah. the only thing can help you know and i'll go like i said i travel a lot a lot i told you at the beginning of the interview i travel a lot and i see this hate everywhere and i'm yeah. like you know what let me just like make it opposite If you see the hate, just do it opposite. If you see racism, just do it opposite, you know. Right. Um, I personally hate ignorance. I personally hate uh, people that they're closed mind or like judging, you know, uh, because I don't want people judging me. So I don't want to judge, mm -hmm. you know, it's very simple. Um, yeah. So um, I'm going to ask you just to give me a, a minute. Sure. Or, or even a few seconds because we're about to crash. So okay. I, I have to save the video. Okay. And so I'm gonna go out and mm -hmm. I'm about to come in again. So Awesome. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. See see you in a few seconds. Yeah. Okay.